the Nationals briefly sure. too. Uh, Jenny Fuchs is one of my big medal contenders. I think she's for sure going to get a silver or a gold. Far too much experience, eight and two in international competition. One of her close friends is Michaela Mayer, who is an Olympian. I just think everything is coming together for the LSU cross country runner. Definitely huge fan. She did great these last two tournaments. Um, you know, and in 2020, she went four and zero. Uh, you know, and and she didn't win the the Strandja or the boxing, but you know, she she beat uh, Mary Comb from India, which had a lot of uh, you know media behind it, which is great for Jenny to be in that spot because there's just more, her name is, is tossed around more, more often. I think she has a great shot, probably one of uh, uh, USA boxing's favorites to the, the medal. I expect her to medal. Uh, hopefully it's that gold. Yeah. I think that she's one of the people, Andrea Medina, mm -hmm. another one of these confusing stories where Lupe Gutierrez won the Olympic trials in a box off Medina gets the spot, but Medina has felt like the breakout star of usa boxing to me every tournament she's improving she's fighting a ton she's just getting better and better and i think that she's on a trajectory right now to medal in the olympics a hundred percent huge fan she made me a fan during uh her uh international competitions just really explosive uh she really uh tries to set a tone in in the fight let the boxers play into her game plan it just really take take control. Um, you know, I believe at the boxum she she lost uh, to you know a boxer that was taller and longer, uh, which is not typically the case when she competes. So you know, so definitely adjustments. She, you know, she's not a finished product. Uh, I have high hopes. I and I can see her doing something like like Jenny, where she would stay stick around and, and do multiple Olympics. I think she she is perfecting that style. Uh, O'Shea Jones, I have very, I, to me, she's my number one pick for a gold medal on this team. I think it goes O'Shea and then um, Ginny. I think to me, I feel, I feel more confident with the women's boxing team for USA picking okay. up medals. I think that we have one, I think we have the strongest possibly women's team oh, yeah. we've ever had. And O'Shea Jones, to me, feels like the anchor of this team. I want to bring up uh, her father, Otha Jones Jr., and her brother, Roshan, who put a lot of time into her in the Soul City Boxing Gym. And the fact that she spars 2016 Olympian Charles Conwell, her brother, Otha Jones III, she's a southpaw. She's able to box, but she also has tremendous conditioning and tries to break down opponents. To me, I feel like the only person that can beat O'Shea Jones is herself. 100%. Soul City is dangerous. That that team is, you know, they're going to bring a team to Nationals as well. They are just, uh, just creating, you know, creating boxers from the ground up where, you know, just really, really good, solid uh, boxers. O'Shea, my number one as well, the the win gold in, in the, for the women's side. You know, but we just discussed three names and I'm, I'm real confident in all those three, you know, that, but that's the difference between the women's team and the men's team and, and, and uh, Team USA. You know, the women's is 42 and nine, you know, since uh, 2020. That's that's astounding. We're probably the most dominant women's boxing team in the in the world right now, to be honest, like we're at the forefront. Yeah, they're, they're beating any, you know, Russia, Kazakhstan, they're beating, uh, you know, all types of fighters everywhere in all weight classes. We, we, we're just starting to talk a little bit, but, you know, there's, there's N Naomi, I'm sure we'll talk to her in a little well, bit. Naomi yeah. Graham is, I think, a dark horse, kind of like Charlie Sheehy, where she's winning a ton. And because she's in an unglamorous division, it's yeah. easy to be like, you know, eventually it's not going to, but she's been winning, winning, winning and she doesn't get the same love as these others, she's probably on the course to medal as well because I see her as for sure an Olympic qualifier at this point. Oh, almost that, but she's 12 and one. Best record of, of the entire Team USA. 12 and one, uh, multiple medals. And at the box uh, she there was a fight against a Puerto Rican uh, boxer. I forgot her name. Nisa, I believe, Nisa uh, Rodriguez. Uh, and she, she was, she changed, she was really aggressive. You know, usually, uh, you, know, you know, likes to the box or, or keep them, keep them at bay. She was really going, you know, strong, 
shots. I think she's really getting to a comfort zone, a real groove, nice groove of her compete at the international level. I think she's going to be dangerous. I think she's going to, I, I believe she's going to medal. Hopefully it's gold as well. But I think she just, she just has this, this train of momentum right now. A uh, big fan. She's getting a lot of accolade, a lot of just uh, recognition. And, and, you know, she's uh, with the armed forces. I believe it's the army as well, getting a lot of love from them as well. So it's, she's, she's a great story. And I think she's going to have a great, great push to make it to Tokyo. Okay. We're gonna